Jiva Cubes are a gourmet way of drinking coffee on the go. Um, Jiva started um, when my, my mom went to Colombia for the first time uh, in 15 years, just like a coming home, um, and she came back to Miami with uh, these little cubes of sugar and uh, coffee, um, and I love them, and I started using them for, you know, going to school every day at FIU, uh, and it helped me a lot because I could skip the line completely at the coffee shop, and I wasn't late to class anymore, um, so I, I love them so much that I started um, trying to figure out how I could make this into a business um, because I, I thought they were an amazing idea. So I started changing the cube um, up to to fit more of a cup that I liked, um, and and I noticed that American standards were a little bit different with how we drunk coffee. So um, so I started changing the cube, uh, making it um, a little bit more uh, uh, Americanized and uh, Europeanized type thing. Um, and I went to Colombia to try to find uh, the best quality coffee and uh, sugar and find the best way to actually make the product. So I went back to Colombia and started looking for manufacturers and try testing out manufacturers and looking at ingredients. And um, I finally found, um, after a lot of trial and error, uh, a family that I really liked that was making the cubes um, you know, fast enough for my, for my expectations and good. Um, so I finally found them. And they're from Ocamonte Santander. Um, it's a very uh, prestigious coffee region. Um, and uh, th they are working with me to make the cubes. So are all of them 100% Colombian? 100% Colombian. Um, that is your best coffee. Of course, yeah. We, we definitely wanted to show um, the quality of Colombian coffee to the world. Um, so uh, we, we capitalized on, on how well uh, recognized Colombian coffee is um, for its quality. And we went to even further and found the best quality instant coffee that we could find. Um, and that's from a, a really nice region called Ocamonte. Um, and we found a great family with four generations of, of growing cultivation in their background. Um, so uh, we, we're working with them to better the product all the time and to develop the product for international use. So why Jiva and not Starbucks for us? <laughs> um, exactly, yes. So so Jiva um, is quality instant coffee um, that a lot of people love. Um, um, but um, not only is it uh, really good quality coffee that tastes like you just made it from a machine, um, it also lets you skip a line, uh, a very long line. It, uh, it helps you make it on the go. Um, so you, you don't even have to worry about stopping there anymore. Um, you don't have to worry about sugar or anything else. Everything is in it. Yeah, and, uh, and you basically have coffee right um, at your fingertips in your pocket. A little so, piece of Columbia. Oh, but the, the idea is wonderful, but how you get the money? Yeah, so college student can't really uh, uh, fund a, a project or a company on their own, obviously. Um, so I went and, and looked up Kickstarter. Um, Kickstarter is a platform that lets you raise money for um, ideas or business projects that you want to um, come up with. Um, so I, I released Jivon there, explained um, what the product was through video, and gave um, some rewards to anybody who wanted to back the project. Um, so we first did our, our first project, um, and we asked for a thousand dollars and um, in that project we got fifteen thousand um, uh, people returned and uh, asked for a lot more cubes than we first thought we, we would get so we started um, releasing the classic the the regular uh, cube um, and then once we saw that people really liked the product at the end of the first campaign um, and we had all these great reviews we we thought we should expand the line and make it bigger um, so we came back and did another line um, another Kickstarter project um, in the second Kickstarter project we did our entire coffee line that has uh, mocha caramel French vanilla hazelnut um, and we released the the hot chocolate cubes for the first time um, the hot chocolate um, cubes are, are just 100% um, cacao and vanilla nothing added um, and the and we also came out with caramel hot chocolate so in that project we asked for $15,000 it was going to help us um, buy a packaging machine that basically would let us package it um, in these uh, little cute um, candy looking uh, plastics that would help preserve the cubes for um, a lot longer and help us pa uh, send them internationally. Um, in that project we got $82,000.
Um, so we, again, uh, went over expectations, and we started um, shipping the cubes out to over 20, 30 different countries internationally. Um, so now we're shipping the cubes to um, Australia, Russia, um, Saudi Arabia, all over Europe, uh, South Africa. So we're shipping to all different places in the world. That's awesome. Thank and you. How you, how you work with the advertising? Because you know, like everything now is <laughs> online, are yeah. no flyers. How you how you get to students or I don't know people outside for you to show your product? Yeah. So um, the one of the biggest challenges is um, doing it all, um, you know, on your own. So we've been doing, uh, we've been learning from from the beginning um, how to uh, show our brand and develop our brand um, on social media online. Um, and it's it's been a little bit harder, but we're in the learning process. We learned um, we we learned how to uh, you know develop our presence online on Facebook and Twitter. So what we've been doing is basically developing the brand um, on the internet and um, and developing you know recognition of the product online. That's great. So show for us a little bit uh, about the packaging. Sure. Because it's for me it's beautiful how, <laughs> how it is uh, designed yeah. and. You did the design, or you went also to Colombia? No, we actually um, we everybody that works with us is um, is young. We're all uh, you know in our twenties. Um, in our we have a designer. His name is Everton Allen. He did an amazing job with our designs. Um, so this is our, our mocha box, um, and these are the little cubes that we um, got designed. Um, the the pl the cubes themselves before were uh, packaged in a, a plastic wrapper, um, so they're a lot uh, better packaged and uh, they look a lot they look very nice um, and then we have the different color um, or uh, organization going on for the different flavors okay so just to conclude um, what do you advise to us because you are as young as all of us yeah, <laughs> yeah. we are in entrepreneur uh, class Program. and we are working on it how to get to this actually and what is your best advice for us um, the, f the best advice that I would say is to first start with um, trying to help somebody with a problem. Um, um, what The first thing that you can do is find out if something works for you and helps you f figure out a problem. Um, so the coffee cubes for me helped me get to class faster and not be late, and they helped me save money because um, I wasn't going every single day to a coffee shop. Um, so w once I knew it would work for me, I knew that it would help other people and work for them. So that's how I first started. I knew that the idea would work. Um, and then after that, uh, the only thing I would say is never give up. Um, it's so hard. You have so many um, really hard days. Um, every single problem that you can possibly think of will come up. Um, but if you don't give up and you and you stick with it, you can really you know make a, a brand or some or, or a product. Um, so the idea is only half the battle. The other half is actually getting it. Um, sticking, sticking with it and not giving up. Um, but uh, th what I would say is first start with solving a problem. Great. And how is Jiva involved, like socially trying to help others? Because we know that entrepreneurship, as you are, we also have to try to, to help sure. others and communities. I know that you have worked with a lot of uh, Latin American countries, so are you helping more? Yeah, we have big plans for, for uh, you know, a not-for-profit that we want to do with Jiva and a little bit down the road. Um, but for right now, we make sure that we um, only purchase fair trade coffee. Um, so it's um, we make sure that the, the organization behind um, the products that we're purchasing are fair and just. Um, we work with uh, our manufacturer employs a lot of women head of household, um, and he um, he facilitates a lot of different um, donations uh, or, or programs in Colombia. I know he he funds um, a baseball team, and he also funds a a school for kids that are blind and mute. Um, so we we make sure that we're um, we're helping or, or the people who benefit from our work um, is is people that need the help, um, and then we have great plans in the future from our own end. Okay, Nadi, thank you so much. So just invite us for a coffee. Please. Oh, of course. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the coffee cubes. Um, uh, try them out. And of course, go online and let us know what you think. <laughs>